You're listening to Beauty, Strength, and Dominance, the official podcast of Lingerie Fighting Championships. And now, here's your host, Michael Lutkin! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the official LFC Lingerie Fighting Championships podcast. My name is Mike Larkin, and joining me tonight for a round two, folks, probably some of the most entertaining and, dare I say, sensual, and I mean sensual, pun intended, in these last two fights from LFC 40 and LFC 41, respectively, the one, the only, Miss Samia, the goddess glam. How are you, Samia? Hi, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me again. Of course, it's my absolute pleasure. First and foremost, folks, if you guys have not checked out LFC 40 Booty Camp 4 and LFC 41 Lingerie Fight Club, this woman right here is a very integral part of both of these events, are our many of our many LFC Lingerie Fighting Championships ladies. We talked about it in our last interview, Samia, your comeback to LFC, which first and foremost, once more, welcome back. And number two, much like a hand in glove. And number three, your first bout back. We previewed it the last time with Courtney Coco Loco Pemberton coming out looking as only as you can look, rocking the black. Very nicely done lingerie. And number two, this is probably one of the most entertaining, sensual, and probably one of the most first time ever that we've seen this kind of conclusion in an LFC fight and LFC encounter. Talk about working with Courtney because this was such a memorable bout. Yeah, absolutely. It was a really fun fight, and um, I like I like the way it went. It was um, it was it was I don't know. It was like surprising, and so it was it kept us on our toes to say the least. <laughs> I think what I loved about the two as well is, first of all, your fighting skills. You two had some great combat and great synergy together. But I think what the best one is, there was a lot of, dare I say, voluptuosity factor with the breast assists of just rubbing it in each other's faces, just going back at each other. It was very playful, but at the same time, very combative. And what I really did enjoy, too, as well, is you two locked in some holds on each other, went from the ground game into the overall sensual synergy game, the best way I could put it, and probably one of the most unique ways to enter and exit a fight you got down on her put in the submission and at the same time courtney coco submitted and came pun intended at the same time <laughs> you put it. we, we got to talk about this because this is probably one of the most unique finishes like i think this is probably the first time we've ever seen this in lfc combat because usually we'll have tap outs we'll have you know go goes the distance but this one was just you came the release it was a liberating and that was it probably the first time we ever had this as far as the submission goes in the LFC yeah yeah um i i had to utilize my assets um i was like i i know that courtney uh always you know she's super into women and so am i so i use that to my advantage um i i like to get her in vulnerable positions so um that's kind of what i did and finishing her off the way that i did quite literally like finishing her off the way that I did um, ended up working out great because she was, uh, she was being very spunky the whole time. She had a lot of energy as did I, but she was, um, she was like uh, all over the ping pong tabling it the whole time. So I had to get her down and that's how I did it. So. <laughs> oh, nice little takedown. That was slick. That was slick. Grind there was able to turn things to the outside. Now, top position here for the goddess. There's a tap. Was that a tap? It looked like a tap again. And gotta be, gotta be careful. You hear the crowd screaming out as well. They, they thought they saw a tap and grinding away there. Well, I will say this, and first and foremost right now, I'm going to say this, folks, from the point of view of the male and the point of view of anybody, if Samia the Goddess Glam is coming at you, man, I think you literally sometimes have to verbally submissify yourself to that. We'll put that into the forefront. But number two, Miss Samia the Goddess Glam, I will say this, not only did the playfulness come into fruition with this bout, but as we touched upon last time, and I can say this about Courtney, as can you, the spunkifiedness, the spunkiness does really exemplify who Courtney Coco Loco Pemberton is. I think with this 
being her second fight ever in LFC, especially against you, from where she was, where she took on Lauren the Animal Fogel, to you, and especially with her semifinal bout with Bella Madison at LFC 41. I think this is just the beginning of the Coco Loco and on uh, 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 your gate, if you will, that goes on with her, and especially with you, because I got to congratulate you on the victory. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, she did really well. Um, like I said, I enjoyed, um, I enjoyed like being with her and being with her in the ring. Big, um, big nice surprise for me since I had known her for a while. So, yeah, I had a great time doing it. I had a great time being back. Um, I had a, I had a fantastic time. The whole, the whole thing was awesome. So. Definitely. But what I think I have to say about this is when you're coming into LFC and from you, from where you were in your last spectacle, which was about, my goodness gracious, 11 years ago now and where you are now, is it great just to see how the landscape of LFC has really changed into where you are now and how you kind of just fit right back in so well? How was that for you just even just to see it now as how much as evolution as LFC has really grown? now? Yeah, it's I can't believe it's been over a decade. Um seeing how it's going now, seeing all the girls that are involved, all the different bodies, all the different energies, all the different characters, everybody that's so diverse and everything. I really enjoyed seeing that. Um, it's it's really just been such a, a big projection. Like it's been such a great like growing sprout um, to see it all like develop the way that it has and being a part of it again is definitely an honor for sure. And I will say this, it was an absolute honor just to see what you had cooked up, man. And can we talk about the style and finesse that is this lingerie? Because, oh, my goodness, both nights, ladies and gentlemen, everybody looks fine as wine from top to bottom. I got to ask you about the black, the first and foremost, man, because we had our little black and blue attire. I mean, God bless America for the 4th of July and just God bless America in general. Courtney rocked the blue. You rocked the black. Can we talk about this nice little black outfit attire we had for LFC 40? Because it, it slayed, man. It was really nice. Thank you. Um, yeah, I did want to bring my own aesthetic to it, especially being like my, you know, final like comeback. Um, I wanted to really show like who I am now as opposed to what I was in the in the past. In the past, I was very like girly, very um, like pink and bubble gum type, of thing. <laughs> very different than I am now. Um, so that's uh, that's kind of why I chose that. Um, generally speaking, that's just how I dress. Like I dress very dark provocative usually um, this is even like a little bit different for me I don't usually wear anything apart from red and black but all red is like ooh, that's a lot for me so <laughs> um yeah I just I wanted to show my my uh my aesthetic and um so that's why I chose the lingeries the, the choices that I did everyone's like where's the red, white, and blue and I like any time that anything is supposed to be thematic I always come out with something out of the ordinary so yeah <laughs> that's what happened yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. And I think what I loved about it too, as well as, and again, not only your creative aesthetic, but first of all, the color black, I can say really goes with anything just because not only is it a badass sensual color, but it does sense that badassery. And I mean, from where you were and when you're first bet, which I got to say, that was also great lingerie as well. But I think I could tell by how you're speaking with the evolution of your being, your foundation and what have you. I think that's very cool because the girly girl vibes and first of all, you can rock the red right now. Like we mentioned folks, this one's rocking the red over here and it's all in an name with their misread name but at the same time miss Samia the goddess glam i gotta say i think with how you rock and your aesthetic and everything like we mentioned there you really put your own little finesse on it you know what i'm saying as bruno mars once sang you're dripping in finesse and don't make no sense and the sense is you're really putting the finesse into it <laughs> yeah absolutely um i custom make uh most of my things so my uh, all my lingerie is custom embellished with um, spikes and crystals and chains and all kinds of things. So if you look close, you get to see more and more, more and more of me. Well, I really do enjoy that, too, as well, because spikes and change. Not only does it add that, like, if you're looking at a pop culture standpoint, it's like Madonna mixed with, like, any type of horror film that you could get because Madonna was always so creative with her attires and such a, a pivotal figure in music. Like, you could take anything from movies and music and kind of make it your own. So you really also do add that nice little element as well. I mean, we're all influenced from our surroundings and everything, so it's a very nice mix. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I bring it I bring it into everything that uh, everything that I am and everything that I do um, and just like the interior design in here um, every, everywhere that I go I just leave a little bit of glam for sure 
Absolutely. And I think you can agree and attest to me on this. I mean, we've discussed and I'll say this right now. I'm always so enamored with just your art and your body paint and your drawing and your glam. I think what I love about that, too, as well as especially in today's day and age, when we see things from like an ink magazine or we just see magazines in general, just how everything is so in tuned, the precision that goes into everything that we do in life. I think you can agree with me on this. Like, it's so amazing just to see everything pop from the aesthetic of body pain and just in general. If you have that pop, that flash, and that overall, dare I say, gravitational pull, if you can evoke emotions and elicit reactions with, especially like we've seen within your fights that we're going to get more into here, but not just your fights, but with you as a person, it's great to see just the overall eye-poppingness of an image or anything, because that really goes a long way with how it reflects with people and how really can people can relate and correlate. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> It's um, it's also been uh, eye opening um, being a part of LFC for that aspect of like recognizing that I've been a unique uh, individual and um, kind of being around uh, other women that are you know like that and and being able to just flourish in that aspect is has been rewarding. Can we also put this into fruition as well? Because you did mention earlier about the Coco Loco that is Courtney Pemberton and her spunkiness. I got to say, I saw some spunk in you as well, ma'am. I got to say, that was the first thing I noticed from this badass entrance over here. When you came out, it was very spunkiness. I'm ready to go. Rah, rah, if you will. But I'm ready to kick ass at the same time. The entrance was sweet, too. Let's just put that to the forefront. <laughs> Carry on here at LS40 Booty Can 5. It has been a great night thus far here inside FSW Arena in Las Vegas. It has been a little bit of MMA, a little bit of wrestling, a little bit of clothing, and a whole lot of finishes, man. It's <laughs> been action back thus far. Yes, and we got to give a big welcome back to the goddess Lamp, who last fought 10 years ago at LFC 18. She was supposed to be at LC19, but she developed a bad case of stage fright. It happens. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a while. I was, uh, I, I thought I'd be nervous, but I actually wasn't. So that, that was a lot of fun. And I think and for I love seeing everybody's different, like, ways of entry, too. And I got to say, this one with you was most like just, I'm here, let's go, and smiley. And some of the girls would have just like, they'll punch while they do it, or the seductiveness, like MJ the Dominant or Domino does that little tongue lick thing that she does and just flexes her muscles, which is awesome. But everybody's unique, man. I think that's yeah. some of the best way to put it. It's just, again, you, everybody sees that you're ready to go, and people can feel it. So definitely a lot of people felt it, and especially Coco with that finish, by the way. So yes, the fun intended on that one. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. And that's, that's an important aspect to like, you know, to keep and to, to pursue just just having fun with it and, and being uh, lighthearted about it overall is makes it way more enjoyable. And I got to say this as well in a sidebar, folks, if you've not checked it out on LFC and on the VIP section, a lot of these fine ladies over here got to do some virtual reality with the boxing man and really got to showcase that forefront. A lot of stuff on social media, which is everything about being female wrestlers, the popular TikTok trends. This one was all up in the mix on video and just doing her damn thing with Coco Loco Pemberton. You got to see a different side of the amazing LFC lingerie fighting championship ladies. And speaking of the virtual reality, though, how awesome was that to really really see that and be a part of that because y'all got to do some boxing get your little friggin you know ai dare i say punches on how awesome was that to really see the virtual reality side of things yeah that was really cool that was my first time ever putting on a, um, those goggles so um that was a fun surprise i enjoyed that Thank <laughs> you. 
and I think with you too, especially with how social media is in marketing and advertising now, how awesome is that for you? Not only just to see like what we see in the forefront, but the behind the scenes of the girls doing the VR, the virtual reality, the girls just doing the popular TikTok trends of where female wrestlers and boom, we're showcasing that type of style. How awesome was that you from the social media front? Because it also gets more eyes on the product and also just badassery of the great women that is lingerie fighting championships. Yeah, yeah. Um, I also did a, a bunch of like small like TikToks and stuff um, to get it out there um, and to get people excited. Uh, that was a lot of fun to do. Um, and it was fun to see everyone's kind of like style or their ideas and juggle them and, you know, work with other girls doing it. That was cool, too. So and connecting with the girls um, uh, through social media as well. It's been it's been cool. And I will say this, besides the connections that we have all made and everything that makes this fine LFC community an amazing experience as it is, we move on to your next fight, which is LFC 41 Lingerie Fight Club. But we're going to talk about this doggone fight club because the number one rule is we know, folks, you can't talk about fight club. But when it comes to LFC, we're going to talk about some fight club up here. So wherever your position that you were on on the card, Miss Samia the Goddess Glam, you rocked it going in later on the card with LFC 40 with Coco. And then this one over here. I was surprised to see because I'm looking forward to LFC 41, not knowing what the order is. But this one, this delightful face comes on my screen as the opener against Coven, who got a unfortunate loss to Monica the Flyerbomb Garcia previously that on the previous night, which David and Goliath bout. But then we get the Coven and Samia over here. You, my friend, I got to say, I got to ask you, how was that being the opener, number one and number two? You're setting the tone for how LFC 41 was going to be. How was that like being in the opener? Oh, it was awesome. I was, uh, I was, I was super ready for that one. I was all sparked up. So, um, I did have, I had a great time doing that too. Can we just talk about the light up like this one talking about the spark over here and you'll see some images and some videos from this fantabulous event, but this one over here coming out with the green, I got to say, I loved it. We go from black and then we go to green. And, and I loved it just because it was a nice little difference and change of things. Like we mentioned the creativity that you bring. But I think that's probably like the first time ever I've seen something like this. And it only not only did it pop, but it was so cool just to showcase that. I got to say, you rocked it even with the green, man. You put it together and it worked. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to uh, bring a pop of color. And um, I love, uh, I love anything like neon. So I was like, I'm going to stand out in this one a little bit, but, uh, it was, it was a cool, cool choice. Yeah. The best one, I think what I love about it too, as well as in the color vibes that you mentioned there, Miss Samia, the goddess glam, it reminds me of say like you're going to a rave or say for like, just in case, like, we'll put it to you like this. It's like some EDM festival that you go to and you see the brightness in the green and that <laughs> vibes that's what i got for me i got the yeah vibes i dug it yeah, yeah it's uh, definitely like more of a yeah party and and uh you know i don't know like action vibes i don't know but yeah i i really like that outfit um and uh it, i had some you know minor difficulties with it but yeah uh, we all we all have our own problems with the outfits you know some of the girls have like slips and i had a couple of them but yeah, I, I survived I will say this as well. As Andrew WK once said, folks, when we start the party, we will party hard. And I mean, with this particular fight, what I love about it too is, and the honesty and brutality, because that was actually going to be my follow-up question. We had a lot of wardrobe malfunctions, as we see a lot with an LFC. It did happen, but I'm going to put this into the forefront. It happened early on, but you came back. You came back. You came back from it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like don't know, and you know, until I like look down. Um, no one really like would tell me so as soon as I you know realized I picked myself back up but I mean I wouldn't have minded to just take it off completely if that was like the you know the call I just I didn't know what to do I didn't know whether to fix it or to like continue or what well, I will say this, whether you got clothes on or you're topless, dare I say, come on, leave me breathless and leave me breathless, if you will. <laughs> this one right here goes out the corner. What I loved about this fight, too, much like your earlier fight with Courtney. Now, this one was a little bit shorter, but I got to say, you make the most of your time. You both represented the ground game very nicely, a couple shots on one another. Then she takes it into the corner. And then the ref, unfortunately, is in the way. We got to get the ref out of the way because we can't have that. And then Coven just bop right on you. 
She gives you a nice little dap, little pop, and then it's done. Winner by knockout is coming. Even in defeat, I got to say, you did kill it. It was another great bout, great chemistry between the two. Talk about work with Coven, man, because I got to say, usually you're not supposed to be striking in the face, but Coven right. got you a little pop. She got you a little bop there, Samir. Right, right. Yeah, we were having a, a little tisk for tat with the with the referee, and I I I was I was pissed. I was mad. I was upset about it because um, it just it happened so uh, abruptly. And at that point, I, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, "There's there's no way that's gonna pass," and then it did. So, still commend her for her like <laughs> good fight, but. Uh, yeah, that, that didn't, that didn't go by me well. <laughs> Such a strength difference. Yeah, it really that. has been. I mean, the two matchups that she's had thus far in her LSC career. You kind of make it, okay, wait. Oh, a shot to the face there, it appeared to me. I would just like to say the visual expression was real in this one, folks, because when Coven got her hand raged, this one over here, I got I don't want to say you were like nuclear, but I could tell you were you were quite perturbed when she got her hand raised. Yeah. But but yeah. still, no, I think unfortunately that stuff does happen, even though she popped you and like it was really it was like a pop, man. Like she got you just like pop. She kind of gave you the old little like tap right in the head, right in the sweet spot, but yeah. Other than, other than that, I will say congrats to Coven on that. And just congrats to you for like a two-day, I'm going to say this, man. It was like a very two-day event that really showcased why not only were you missed with LFC, but why you are who you are, the goddess clam, hot damn, if you will. So I got to say, mm -hmm. for two days, it was very successful just to have you back, man. Yeah, absolutely. I, I enjoyed it so much. Um, both fights were individually great. And um, like I said before, like just getting to reconnect with the girls and connecting with them and getting to know some of them were, it was really awesome just being a part of it all. Um, I was beat up at the end. I was pretty beat up at the end of, of those days, but uh, well worth it. Well worth the, you know, the commitment and the go. So and I think the last time we spoke, and this is what I love about your willingness to go and the grind. And as we say, folks, the grind doesn't stop. Now, Samia, from where you are in your journey, because I know you have had a weight loss. And I got to say, from where you were then and where you are now, I got to say, you really put the time and effort not in just to your overall physical being and your emotional being, but it really just goes to show your foundation. And I admire and I commend and I love the fact to see where you are in your journey, because I got to say, not only is the journey worth taking, but you have really grown leaps and strives and bounds to where you are today. I got to say for that, I appreciate it. That's what I love about you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's cool seeing the difference between, you know, the the uh, over a decade ago and now um, coming back to like a nice, like happy medium has been just oh, such a nice, nice, like, uh, what is it called? Breath of fresh air. Breath of fresh uh, air, so to speak, yes. Awesome. Like, such a great, like, because it's, you know, it was such a journey, and it's been a beautiful journey, and one that I would never change, but, yeah, very happy now. So, it's awesome to see the transition. I probably put a couple of, like, you know, collages together just to showcase that, because it's, it's, it's quite shocking when you look at the side by side, <laughs> but, yeah. Well, I, I look at it like this, too, as well. And first of all, all women are beautiful, folks. As I say with each and every one of these shows, not just the beauty, strength, and dominance moniker, but all women are queens and all women are God's greatest creation, so to speak. But I think in that period of time, and I say this with a lot of people because a lot of people just, again, beautiful women, no matter the shape, no matter the size. But you also have to look at it from a health perspective when you're in that way and you really need to, you know, just figure out certain life patterns, just not only just keep on living, but keep on living internally and externally. I think in that particular time, I think to where you are now, and I can notice the glow. We mentioned the glow, the G to the L to the O to the W, the glow. Mm -hmm. That is about you, which each and every time that we see it. But it's one of those things, man. You look good doing it. You feel good doing it. And it just shows. And I think not only with LFC being the sensual side of things and maybe, maybe, maybe making people come to the shows and come literally and figuratively, and I use that with this one around, but in this particular scenario it's one of those things where it brings a lot of joy and it's very empowering for a lot of women and speaking of those women i have to say pleasantries aside have you looking at the crop of talent that we had on those last two shows anyone else you got your eye on for your next bout man for your up next bout when we do have another fun lfc show anybody got your eye on that you've been looking at that you would want to face oh man if if i had it my way i would totally go for the referee but you know <laughs> the ballot so 
I totally would. But yeah, she's not uh she's not up for grabs, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> but yeah, apart from that, I mean, there's a couple of them that are very competitive, um, uh, and uh, aesthetically, yes. But <laughs> but um, I don't know. I mean, who knows? I'm I'm up for anything, honestly. I like your style and I like your ambition because that is a great answer, number one. And number two, I think that's probably the first time in the history of this show. And I say that with the utmost sincerity, respect, and overall entertainment value there that someone was like, I'd go for the referee, but that that unfortunately is not an option. I like your style because we had some beautiful referees those two days. My goodness. Shout out to the refs because they yeah. look absolutely stunning. My goodness. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. But, yeah, that's what you get with LFC. Hot refs, hot fighters, hot judges, and overall hotness, thickness, and whatnot. And that's what really goes into these amazing events. So I will say this, Miss Samia, the goddess glam, being the ultimate, dare I say, je ne sais quoi and uniqueness of all different facets of life, from your art form in the adult entertainment industry to LFC to the art form of what you get to do with your body paint and whatnot. I got to say, man, the sky's the limit for you. And I can't wait to see your next fight. And I can't see wait to see what comes up next in the future for you, man, because the content never stops, right? Never stops. No, no. Um, I Especially for Halloween. Halloween is my favorite holiday. I'm going absolutely crazy. So, um, you know, all y'all be sure to keep up with me because... It's going to be a lot. I already have a lot. And it's only like, what, the 6th? Like yep. the 7th? Like, I already have content I'm producing every single day. So October is going to be awesome. Um, Halloween's going to be awesome. And I, I am uh, also, yeah, I'm super looking forward to like uh, the next time I get to come on and do my thing. Girl, I got you any time that you want to come back on the show because the overture is here. I always have a blast talking. I always smiles, always pleasantries. And also, you're just a delightful son of a gun, and I truly appreciate you. So I really appreciate your time on today's show. You too, you too. Now, I will say this. If you haven't checked out our Halloween stuff, I'm glad you brought this up. It's like very Day of the Dead, but also one of the things, too, as well as that just goes with it. It's fine. It's wonderful. It's eye-popping, like we mentioned. So I'm even more excited just to see what you got from Halloween because it gives you a chance to be creative. The Michael Jackson thriller vibes are in the air. And just everything from Halloween movies and whatnot, it's going to be great. I, too, am excited to see what you have coming for Halloween. Yeah, I got some demonic things cooking. I'm super excited. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My goodness. It's like the exorcism of Emily Rose, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, making an exorcism of <laughs> Emily Rose reference. But so many great things. So much great time within the world of pop culture, movies, Halloween, and LFC. So me and the goddess glam, I got to say, from the social media front, where can we follow you? Because, again, love the socials. Go ahead and plug them. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it, I think like the all around easiest way is just to do um, MissRedX.com. So it's M-S-R-E-D-X.com. Um, that will also have another link to all my links. Um, that's an easy way to connect with me. Uh, my social media um, Instagram is M-S-R-E-D.X. Um, and then on there you can find other links. So like I have a lot of links. So <laughs> one is good and then you can just <laughs> jump to the rest of them. But yeah, MissRedX.com is um, all around probably the best way to find me since it's so simple. All righty. The links will be in the description below. And then to quote an X, since you mentioned X here, I'm going to quote the great X, God rest his soul, DMX. X going to give it to you, literally and figuratively speaking. <laughs> so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to follow this fine program and if you want to see these faces, more of this face, not this face. I'm I, but this one has a better face than me. You can check out LFCFights.com for Beauty, Strength, and Dominance, the LFC podcast, and so many great events, including LFC 40 and LFC 41 with Samia's fights against Courtney Coco Loco Pem I just came an LFC 41 lingerie <laughs> fight club against the one and only Miss Coven. Um, if you want to check out yours truly, Mike Larkin 92 on YouTube, SM Show One and MCL 92 on Twitter, and Larkin underscore 92 and M Larkin MB on the Instagram front. And before we close this out, as I always say, folks, life is an art form. We are all applying our crafts. Continue to apply your craft in amazing fashion, much like this one in her art form. Continue to apply your amazing craft and fashion. This is the other goddess glam. And to close this out, beauty, strength, and dominance, the three key elements that make women the work of art that they are. And Samia, the goddess glam, I include you in those sentiments. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Come talk to